I was shocked Paul Theron on Windows Weekly told me last week, oh, I wouldn't buy anything. All I buy now are ARM processors. You, you know, do the same? I, 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 oh, yeah. Uh, I tell people that, it's hard to explain, but literally Windows runs faster on ARM. It's just more optimized, whether I'm using Edge and like I'm talking like the Windows native apps and the actual operating system. Everything is just snappier on ARM. Um, is that has to do with, by design? Is that Microsoft's design to do that? or it, So the last major update when the Snapdragon uh, X series came out, they did do a major update to Windows and it was more optimized. I think it has to do with the cores, uh, you know, the... There's 12 cores on an. They do efficiency yeah. and performance. In fact, really copying Apple's playbook on that. Actually, they don't though. They oh, don't. They don't. So that's that's the difference. They have 12 cores. They're all performance cores. Oh, in fact, okay. it's it's the opposite. Like on the X Elite, two of the cores have turbo on them, and so they go even higher. Uh, but yeah, they don't do the. That's why they they actually beat a lot of Apple chips. At least the M3s they can beat. Um, you know, the M4s, of course, are a different story, but that's going to change with the new ones. But yeah, I think it has just to do with the cores, the architecture of them are just different from the x86 stuff, but I just prefer them. The battery life's incredible. Uh, I started using a Surface Laptop 7 just a couple of weeks ago because Microsoft sent the 50th anniversary version, which is like super limited edition. I can't stop using it. 